My name is uh, Dr. Mohammad Abzana, Mohammad Ismail. I am Dr. Nafisa Mustafa. My name is Dr. Anisa Siraj. My name is Lawa Omotayo. Hi, I'm Shreya Vadekar. Uh, hello, so my name is Rutwa Dirji. Hello, this is Yogma Pandya. My name is uh, Khadija Akbar. My name is Mohammad Abdurrahman Mohsin. I'm Ruturaj Solumke. My name is Rovisha Sagotia. Yes, class of 2023. 2023. 2023. Class of 2023. Batch of class of 2023. 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 This is class of 2023. Okay, so why medicine? Okay, good question. Is because uh, before, of course, uh, when we were kids, we were told, and what do you want to become? All every most of them has told, I want to become a doctor. So yeah, that was in my head from start. But uh, in between, yes, we got lost in our direction. But as we got to know about the subjects later on in the higher secondary school and stuff. So in that uh, way, it was always an interest towards biology and towards the human body. So that's why uh, medicine and DTMU, of course, there were many colleges that were given to us. But uh, the uh, from seniors and from other people, what we heard of DTMU and what the uh, colleges offered to them, uh, it made me more interested in going towards this college. I see it as a profession wherein you can directly help your patients, you can directly help your people either with your effort and also financially so that was a great choice for me. I said that I was always inter interested in psychiatry so that's why uh, I chose medicine and also DDMU is like uh, by chance uh, research uh, on internet and so that's how I got to know about DTMU and I saw the... So why medicine? Um, honestly, I I didn't think of studying medicine like right from the beginning and then I was in my high school so I think I was in like junior secondary school too you know we have these science subjects and they were really interesting I knew I had like really uh, very much interest in taking care of people. It's my way of giving back, basically. I kind of see my purpose as um, taking care of people and being back, being there for them. And I feel like the best way or one of the ways to do that is medicine. You know, um, you take care of people like uh, selflessly and it's just really beautiful. So uh, that's my main reason. I don't know why medicine, sometimes you just know what you want to be and I always knew I want to become a doctor. I tried to pursue other professions but uh, it was always medicine for me, it was my first love. Okay, so why medicine? So like like what everyone thinks, the same answer <laughs> that since I was a kid I wanted to be a doctor and I was very fascinated with uh, the people who used to wear white coats. So yeah, and uh, when I grow, when I grown up. I, well, sorry, when I grew up, so uh, I was more good in biology than mathematics. So yeah, I chose medicine as career. And uh, why DTMU? So uh, when I researched about universities, uh, I found Georgia was a very safe place to study. And uh, out of all those universities, uh, DTMU is one of the best universities, I would say. And yes, since I've spent these many years here, I would definitely agree on it that uh, DTMU was actually very good. and. Uh, yeah, it helps you to grow like, educationally and it helps in uh, maybe it, it helps you to be like how to it helps you in how do you manage your stress, how to go with your failures and uh, yeah. Okay, so medicine I was never interested but uh, since I joined it from the day one it has become more and more interesting and and this is the field I'm gonna work more and uh, why DTMU? Uh, before joining the university I remember uh, doing a lot of research about many universities in Georgia but uh, looking to the history of what DTMU uh, was and is till present and past and uh, the amount of passing rates of uh, in, in any uh, medical exam was so much than that of other universities so I had this trust with this university and that is why DTMU. I choose medicine because I got inspired from uh, one of a doctor in my hometown and also from my sister. So after looking at them, after looking at their life, I wanted to become a doctor, I wanted to choose their profession. 
So I'd uh, heard from my friends that DTMU is one of the best university in Georgia and teachers over here are very professional and very friendly. And why DTMU? Uh, I first learned about DTMU from our family friend, my uncle actually, and I had no information about the university. I never even knew Georgia existed before then. And then um, he told me about the school and I was like, okay, it's not bad, it's a good school. I was like, okay, fine, I just Googled DTMU and tried to learn more about it. And it kind of seemed like one of the best ones here in Georgia. So it was like, why not? I want to be a part of that. So yeah, that's it. So why DTMU? Because uh, when I inquired about uh, universities before coming here, everyone was suggesting uh, DTMU mainly because uh, here where our passion meets, meets opportunities so that was one of the reason main reasons and uh, the clinical exposure which I asked about everybody told uh, in DTM it's pretty good. The advantages I would name few lecturers that have made a very high impact in my life is starting from theory years in Rustavi campus I would like to thank Yuri sir and uh, of course the one sir Michelle sir then even about uh, Vako uh, and other lecturers who have taught me when even in this clinical years when I needed help they have been there and even before so yeah and uh, of course in clinical years a big thank to Lasha sir who has uh, taught us surgery in a way and even made the subject very much interesting. So first two years are the basic years right so it's all theory so the lectures taught us like so much in detail and that is why it helped us more in clinical years so it has like nurtured us completely and now uh, sixth year was like a walk on the cake, walk in the cake it was like a cake walk lectures were life changing sometimes frightening sometimes too kind so they are very and they are very friendly they would like to help you in any way possible uh, they tell you your weaknesses and your strength and they would want to focus uh, more on your weaknesses they help you work on your weaknesses and overcome them and they help you shape and uh, uh, to be a better doctor more clinically oriented so advantages about dating your lecture uh, they were pretty good with what they teach they knew what they're teaching. All right, so the ideal doctor for me is someone uh, who can actually put up his knowledge in a way that's actually going to benefit the patients um, uh, regardless of his own uh, benefits. Of course, we have to see um, ways to earn, but I think there has to be a limit uh, to when it comes to earning and um, uh, money making because this is like associated with nowadays it is associated with the money making profession uh, I think it, there has to be a limit to how much we can um, actually uh, uh, earn from this because um, uh, we, we are someone like who can actually help people and we are someone uh, to whom people come with the hope so I think we should keep up with their hopes and uh, just not the just not go into the money making profession the ideal doctor we can't say who is an ideal doctor but uh, it depends on the person it depends on their uh, knowledge about the subject who knows more about like uh, focus on a particular topic and knows entirely about it then it is very good for them i wanted to be like that if i am choosing a particular direction in my profession i wanted to know everything in that case and then i want to be a good doctor in that pro that side at least i want to be kind i want to be empathetic I want to be someone who is there for you even when you are at your worst and uh, yeah that's the kind of service I want to give to my community, my country and my people. Uh, the ideal doctor for me will be uh, someone who is not you know just all about uh, themselves because uh, when it comes to this area of uh, work or expertise we need to be more than just about ourselves. We are about the people, we are about the uh, patient safety. So an ideal doctor for me will be someone who takes uh, patient safety as paramount and someone who uh, is empathetic and also uh, is like a really good uh, person who works in a team, like a team teammate, something like that, because uh, it's really important to uh, be able to uh, cultivate that teamwork um, 
teamwork attitude in this kind of line of uh, career basically okay so an ideal doctor for me is the one who can use his knowledge in the most stressful conditions and uh, the one who helps people and uh, yeah that's what an ideal doctor should be i think and the second question one word about dtmu exclusive confidence a place to grow it was i can't describe in words what dtmu gave me uh gave me a lot of lessons life lessons that i'll never forget this uh, mistakes that i made here and how world works how i have to be in a certain situation so yeah life lessons that i'll never forget a roller coaster ride best university in georgia my number one thing i will miss about georgia is nature it's really beautiful so it's like i'm a very big fan of nature and coming to this place had made me realize my love for that more had made me even get the opportunity to see really beautiful places and that's my most important thing about here when i'm frustrated some day when i think about how beautiful it is everything goes away i'll miss the anxiety <laughs> that the quizzes gave me but i also learned a lot from them uh, i'll miss my friends who are practically my family now and i can't imagine the my life without them I'll miss the fact that uh, this country has uh, given me so much opportunity to grow personally, academically, and otherwise. Uh, I'll miss the country's beauty, the beautiful sunsets. I mean, I have seen the most beautiful sunsets in this city in my entire life than I've seen anywhere else. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the people. Thank you for being hospitable. Thank you for uh, accepting us culturally and as an individual. I'll miss the place but more than that I'll miss the people who made life in Georgia bearable <laughs> the family I made here of course the family that I made over here the friends uh, who made the 6 years very easy for me and uh, some of the things that I'll miss is of course going to college or hospital and again the routine and uh, the environment over here the independence and everything is the thing that i'll miss the most in georgia uh i miss in georgia the way i lived in georgia i miss it a lot and uh, the people around i'll miss them a lot uh because uh it was it was a wonderful experience wonderful 6 years it was the best 6 years in my entire life of my 26 years it this was the best 6 years which i had so i'll miss every part of georgia literally So when I first came here I was very scared coming to a complete different country but now that I'm about to finish I'm already missing Georgia people here are very welcoming and friendly I've met really good friends here and they're all very amazing and I'm carrying so many memories with me when I'm going back to my country Mai me kwar sakartuelo Mai me kwar sakartuelo da mai me kwar DTMU